Welcome to I Said What I Said. I'm Coy Cook, and this is a show that is not politically correct at all. I'm going to say some things that you're not going to agree with. I'm going to say some things that you probably will agree with. So buckle up, buddy. Shit's about to get real. First things first. It's got nothing to do with nothing. Black folks, we, we got to start tipping. We got to start tipping. You know, a lot of you guys are making it hard for me to get good service because you niggas don't tip. This goes with the Hispanics and the Asians, too. You guys got to get together. There's some there's some cheap whites out there, but mainly it's Negroes. That's why nobody wants to do our events. Like, it's an all-black event. And nobody wants to work it because niggas ain't tipping. City girls are coming to town, and I'm terrified. I'm terrified of the city girls. Not because of all that ass, because they ain't going to make no money. <laughs> but another news, HBO debuted a trailer for House of Dragons, which is the prequel to Game of Thrones. And they talk about the House of Targaryen. I was not really in the Game of Thrones. They lost me with some of the incest. Not some of the incest. They lost me with all the incest, because I'm not down with none of that shit. That shit's weird as fuck. Uh, speaking of incest, kind of. Errol Musk, father of Elon Musk, is having an unplanned pregnancy with his stepdaughter. I find it weird that they call the pregnancy unplanned because I watch enough Pornhub to know that when you fuck your stepdaughter, you're not trying to get her pregnant. The whole point of fucking your stepdaughter is to not let her mom know. Now the fuck you don't explain this baby? Huh? More pregnancy news. An inmate in a correctional facility managed to get two female inmates pregnant. An inmate got two other inmates pregnant. I'm not sure what that inmate's pronouns are, but I'm pretty sure that that inmate is the Nick Cannon of that correctional facility. It's fucking weird. But, fellas, let this be a lesson to you. If you ever commit a crime, whatever procedure that person went through, make sure you get it. Because I know if I'm going to rob a bank, I'm going to go slap some titties on me just so I can get to the local female correctional facility and have me a field day. It's going to be a great time in the shower. It's going to be like summer camp 2008. Don't judge me. Do not judge me. Motherfuckers are sick nowadays. I don't even know how to transition to this, but motherfuckers are sick. A Brazilian anesthesiologist managed to have his dick out for 10 minutes while a female was going, undergoing a C-section procedure. I've watched enough doctor shows to know that a doctor must scrub in before performing any procedure. And I think it's a little weird that no one noticed this dude washing his dick in the sink before he entered the operating room. I don't, I don't know how he did it. I don't know about most dudes, but I like my bitches awake when they suck my dick. Just me, call me weird. Call me strange. Like my, I like my hoes coherent. Uh, we're going to, we're going to celebrate a young man today. We're going to celebrate a young man today. We're going, we're going to take a shot. We're going to take a shot for a young man today. Um, not sure what his name is, but Phoebe Gates, daughter of Bill Gates, debuted her boyfriend on social media this past week. Just so has to be a black guy. I'm excited that this young black man got him some top shelf white woman. Do not be surprised if they overturn Wade versus Roe once again. So we're gonna take a shot for this young man. I don't know his name, I don't care what his name is. This boy just got the bag. We're gonna take a shot for this guy. Congratulations, young man. Congratulations. This is my take a shot straw. It is the ultimate alcohol mixer combination device.
And in closing today, I want to apologize to all the women out there. You ladies live in a very scary world in your head where you think that all these dudes want to have sex with you and we do but there's the difference between a dude who wants to have sex with you and that will have sex with you and unfortunately most of you do not recognize the difference and until you do there will be problems and honestly, realistically, if you forget all your followers, you forget all your likes, out the box and you wake up in the morning, a majority of you guys are fives. And I don't want you guys judging me, trying to tell me how I look and everything like that. I understand how I look. I know. I'm medium handsome. I'm Coy Cook. I said what I said. You can kiss my